Hey guys, so I'm just coming at you with another video. Um, it is late. I'm not going to say how late it is, but it is very late. It's a new day. That's how late it is. And um, so far I braided my hair down, like you see right here. I just tried a different way of braiding. Um, you know, I'm not able to braid the way I really want due to the fact that um. I'm so used, like my hands can't spin, so I can only braid one certain way. But I did braid this all the way back, and I connected everything together. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to thread all my needles, and then um, I'm going to start. I'm going to put my cap on, which I always keep in hand, a cap, and I throw it on top, but... I'll be back with, um, I'm going to come back. Hey guys. So, um, I did re um did take out the Malaysian hair because the fact that the first installation I did on it, it was horrible. I mean, the time that I did it was bad, and I had to go to work the next day. So, um, I'm, I took it out. It's been a month though. It lasted for a month. I took it out, and um, I'm redoing it. And the clip that you just saw is basically a clip of um i washed the hair already i let it air dry i didn't do nothing to it you know just use my conditioning shampoo i usually use which is the pantene and right now um i'm installing the hair so um i'm gonna just pick up this which is going in the back it's still wet but I, I'm going to just put in my hair anyway because I'm going to end up going to sleep with it wet either way. I mean, you know what I mean. I'm going to go to, I'm going to wet it either way. So I'm going to just go ahead and put it in my hair. And um, I'll be back once I'm kind of sort of halfway through, I guess, so I could kind of speed things up because... It's late and I need to hurry up and get this done. So I'll be right back. Hey guys. Okay, so um, I already started. I'm still on the same first track with the um. I think it's. I think this is the 14 inch. If I if I'm I'm not mistaken. So what I did um is I'm just gonna stop right there. Since I kind of confused myself, I'm sorry I'm not looking at the camera right now, but I'm trying to like fix whatever I confused myself with. I don't know how glue got on this. Okay, so um. I found the part a part where I had left where I had cut hair to make a bang over on this side and my bang is kind of um, more towards my face now instead of it being um, it was right here in my face but I kind of pushed it more to cover my eyes because I love my bangs to cover my eyes so this is still hanging I'm just going to take this and sew it with a different needle. That's all I'm doing right now. I'm just trying to make sure I don't grab no hair that I left out. That's why I'm pushing the cap back. I got so many darn needles. It don't make no sense. I got like six or seven needles like lined up. <laughs> okay, so here's the braid, the pretty braid. And I guess I could just throw this back here because I'm not going to need that.
question. Okay, so um, there's two reasons why I sew like this, like this way. It's because, let's say if I'm trying to put my hair up in a ponytail, that when it's time for the hair to flip back, it will. you won't really see the track. You will just see the hair. Another reason why I like to do it this way is because it falls better. It falls down better than when you just keep going across like this. Like, um, I know a lot of people, they do, they sewing is totally different, but I love the way, like, this falls. Like, when you push it back, you see how you don't really see no hair. So, I could wear my hair back, and it'll look like a, like a wig, even on this side right here. It'll look like a wig, but really, I mean, if I had hair left all right here, it'll look nice. And it's like I braid my hair this way. Because when it started getting old, I noticed that my hair liked to come out a lot, a lot, a lot. So that's why I did like the real small braid now. And um, sewed it around so it'll just stay. Like, um, I'm learning. I mean, I'm learning more things as I go every day. Learning how I, I try. And I'm actually trying. I'm not even like looking at no nobody else's videos. So if somebody else is doing this and talking about this, then... I'm happy to know that I'm also learning it without having to watch that video. So they're giving good advice that I need to probably look up on to learn, even though I'm learning it already. So um, now it's going now it's going to be time just to sew everywhere. I think I'm gonna just start sewing like this. So I can fill this side up. And it'll be easier to fill. Because this side is almost filled up. I'm so tired, y'all. It don't make no sense how tired I am right now. So I'm just gonna um I'm just gonna continue sewing from where I stopped, which was right here. And I'm going to turn towards you guys. Just so you can see. My hair might be in the way. So you probably won't be able to see. But I'm going to just turn back this way. 